Hello again and welcome back. Today I am back with my Jumper T Pro. Um, just to give you a quick recap, first I replaced one of the POTS wheels with a two position switch. I also replaced the sticks with shorter sticks. Uh, internally I replaced the 4-in-1 module with an internal 1W ELRS module. And then most recently I replaced the faceplate. And now that I've got this all sorted out, I wanted to maximize the use of my two position switch. Naturally, I've assigned this to arm, but I was always baffled about where to put turtle mode. And, um, and I didn't really want to waste a whole switch for turtle mode. And since arming and turtle mode are basically mutually exclusive, I thought that I would use the two position switch for both arm and turtle mode. And so the logic is, if you click arm once, it will arm. If you arm, disarm and arm quickly enough, it will then enable turtle mode. Let me demonstrate. So, arm, disarm, and then arm, disarm, and arm quickly. Are you still okay? Now we have turtle mode, and then disarm. So that's basically it. There are a few limitations. You can't go too quickly because um, either Edge TX or the, the hardware in the Jumper T Pro doesn't recognize the uh, double click. However, um, if you take your time, um, it works just fine. And I'm still really playing with the parameters to get a really nice um, uh, natural feel to that. But let's go to the PC to show you how I've set it all up. So now we are on Edge TX Companion. This tool allows you to read the settings from your radio, modify them, back them up, and also um, configure them and uh, send them back to your radio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my radio via USB. You do need to configure the radio profile. Um, I'm not going to do this this time, but if that's something that people want, let me know. And now you can see it's all been connected. So now I can actually read the radio settings. And you can see I've got two model profiles, one joystick and one ELRS, the one that I always use. And we'll go to logical switches. And you can see the first 11 uh, um, are the uh, logic switches that help me set up the arming, disarming, as well as um, the double arm to enable turtle mode. And I've grouped this into three. The first one is just the pure arming and disarming, and this includes checking the throttle. I'll go into these a little bit more detail in a minute. Then L6 and L7, I've added delays on arm and disarm, and I did this because I want the notifications to be played whenever I arm and disarm. However, I don't want them to be played while I'm in the middle of enabling turtle mode. So this will just give me a bit of a, um, a delay so that um, I won't get any um, sound uh, while the first time I arm when I'm planning to arm twice. And then finally, uh, the third part is all about uh, uh, checking for a double arm to enable turtle mode. And so I've created a bit of a diagram and um, a sequence flow to help understand this a bit better. Let me just quickly zoom in. So the idea being is, first of all, we check the throttle in logic one, L1. Then we check the position of the two position switch and the throttle down for logic two. And uh, the reason why I had to do this way, because I want, of course, the throttle down to enable the arming, but I don't want it to disarm. So we have a very short duration and uh, L4 will be a sticky to enable that. And then when it's disarmed, then that will be disabled. Um, I won't go into too much detail. This is because the switch is actually a, um, a, a POTS wheel and being converted into a switch. 
Uh, but if you do have some questions, let me know. So as I mentioned before, then we've got the arm and disarm. And um, these have a half a second delay because I don't want them to be enabled in the middle of a um, attempt to enable turtle mode. Um, it's also worth pointing out that this one also checks to make sure we're not going to turtle mode uh, L6, you can see there. And then finally, uh, we've got the edge function. And this allows you to um, enable a logic switch when something's only pressed for a certain amount of time. And so here we've got the range between zero and half a second. This means that if arm is only enabled for less than half a second, then enable L9 for 0.7 of a second. And so now we've got this um, 0.7 of a second um, timer. And if L4 is armed again and within that timer, then we enable um, L11 and disable it when it's disarmed. So let's go through the timing. So for the purpose of this diagram, throttle will be down all the time. And, um, and then you've got L2, which is the um, two position switch. So in the first scenario, we're just going to arm. So it's enabled. And that means that disarm was disabled, uh, sorry, enabled and then disabled when it's armed and then um, enabled again when it's disarmed. And in and L4 is basically arming on the condition that throttle is down. Next, we've got the delayed arm. As you can see, it's got that half a second delay. And then we've got the uh, disarm, which has also got the half a second delay. And so when it's clicked once and it's activated for longer than half a second, then the delay and the logic six is armed. If, however, if you can see in the turtle mode, arm is only activated for a very short amount of time, then you'll see that um, it's not long enough to trigger the delayed arm. So in this case, you can see L2, we click very quickly and then we leave it on. And for the first one, it doesn't trigger the arm, but it does trigger the L9 edge function. And that gets enabled for 0.7 of a second. And as long as you arm again within that time, then you will trigger the AND gate for L10 and then enable the L11 turtle mode. And then once that's all been configured, you'll see here um, arm is assigned to L6 and then uh, flip or um, turtle mode is assigned to L11. Now, one important thing to note, when you are configuring this in beta flight, you'll need to, as usual, uh, assign I5 to arm, but you'll also need to assign I7 to arm as well, because in order to enable turtle mode, you also have to be armed as well. I didn't want to mix arm and turtle mode in the controller, in the radio, but rather configured that in beta flight. So um, that way, um, it just everything separated on the controller. And for my special functions, you can see when L6 is enabled, which is the delayed arm, then arm is played. And when L7 is um, enabled, which is a delayed disarm, then um, the uh, exit is played. And then finally, when L L11 is armed, uh, enabled, then my turtle mode um, sound is played as well. So yeah, that's about it. So as I said, to arm, click once. Ready to, launch. to disarm, click once. To enable turtle mode, we go twice. Are you still okay? Perfect. You. So I hope you find that useful. If you have any comments or questions, let me know. Next, I will be showing a new feature, which is turning the momentary switch into three positions. And um, that means that clicking once will set a certain value. Clicking twice will select another value. And then long press will select another, another value. So um, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. And, um, and yeah. Thanks for watching and have a good one.